good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> good evening, wherever you are. You want the sun, like the sun. <laughs> Let the cows go I'm crossing the road. So I'm on my way. It's probably about seven in the morning, and I am on my way to Page once the cows. This cow right here, like, let me itch my leg because. So, yeah, the sun situation. So, yeah, I'm on my way to, I'm on my way to Page. To, oh, I'm doing this. I'm on my way to um, Page Beach. And I'm, so I'm going to tell you ha what happened. So on Monday, because today is Thursday, on Monday I was working out on the beach. And I did notice this lady, this white lady, walk past me, which wasn't immediate behind me, but I noticed her because I was facing in her direction. <clears throat> so the sun was to my back, you know, I was just getting a break from working out facing the sun and working out with my back to the sun. And that was no issue, that's not the issue. Anyway, she, I didn't see where she went, but she just was walking, but I didn't see where she went to. Then I was finished, was getting my stuff together. And I saw this, and then I started walking, really slowly started walking to go back up to the beach to then get in the car. Anyway, walking, walking slowly, I mean, walking slowly, um, to go up to the beach, uh, walking up back to the beach, or up to the beach. And I saw this woman come out, and then there was these two dogs. And as soon as those dogs saw me, they started sprinting in my direction, sprinting and barking. I'm talking like, you know, attack mode. So I, I, I kept walking, I was already walking slow. And I don't know, I just, I had my, my bag, my tote bag, I've got it here. I had my tote bag with me, as I do now, with all my gym stuff in as well, because I leave the beach and I go to the gym. And, um, I kept it, I, like I put it behind me like this. So, because there was a, there was, one of the dogs was behind me um, and was just barking and that dog jumped and pulled down my bag. And she never said, I'm looking at her. I'm walking, but almost walking away, trying to walk away from them. And I'm looking at her and she did nothing. And I keep walking, keep walking. She's not rushing to come forward. She's not calling the dogs. She's not doing anything. I keep walking and I look in her direction and she doesn't, she's just mouths, I'm sorry. I don't hear it, I just see her mouth. And I just thought, something's not right here. Something is not right here. Something is really not right. I never said anything. I kept walking. I kept walking. So on when that was Monday. So on Wednesday again at the I'm at the beach and I might I've just probably just finished warming up, I'm getting ready to train, you know, work out, exercise, and I I see her, I see I had to drink of water and I see her with these dogs, the same thing happened. These dogs come in, um running, barking, shouting, jumping, and I was like, you know what, F these dogs, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I walked straight, straight to her, turned on my camera, walked straight, I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you letting these dogs come, in, come over and attack me? Why is that happening? You know, I don't know these dogs, she said. They're stray dogs. She said they're stray dogs. Stray dogs, she doesn't know them. How are they stray dogs? And they're with you. How are they stray dogs and they're with you? I said, what if they bite me? What if there are children here on the beach in the morning? I've never seen children there at that part of the beach in the mornings. But, you know, you go to maybe Jambiani and you're probably more likely to see them because their mums are out there um, in, the, in the ocean um, picking, what is it? Working. Let me just say working. I can't even think what they're doing. And so you're, you're, lo you're more highly more likely more likely highly you know what I mean <laughs> it's early to see um, children on the beach on that end not at this end because there's not um, sea moss anyway they don't have that at Page end sorry the sun is just trying to steal my 
steal my shine right now. So, I'm going on at this woman. I'm going on and on. And I, you know, she she didn't say a word. She didn't say a word. She's stony faced. You know those dead inside people? Dead inside. If they're stray dogs, why don't you call somebody? And you see what they do as stray dogs. Why don't you call someone to come and handle them? Yeah? And I said to her, why don't you go and walk on the main road? So when they're acting a fool, you know, people can deal with them. If they run out into the street, I'm sorry, dog owners, but if a car knocks them down, a car knocks them down, you know. But they can't be on the public beach attacking people. This is just wrong. And she, said, she just said, but they're not her dogs. Anyway, I continued with working out. Um, I'm there for working out for about an hour went to started leaving and I thought I wonder if she works or she's connected to this there's a restaurant there I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how far down I've gone and I'm gonna show you and the name of the place I'm gonna show you what if you know I'm thinking maybe she's connected to this place so I because clearly she doesn't care she doesn't care these, these dogs are walking her, but she doesn't care if the dogs assault you and bite you or scratch you. That's not her problem. It's not her problem. So I went to this restaurant that I'm going to show you and the name of it. And she was upstairs sitting down eating her breakfast in front of her laptop. Dogs on the floor next to her feet. I filmed all of that. And she... So I went up to her. And I'm like, I thought these dogs were not yours. How are they stray? And they're sitting right here at your feet. I'm having a meeting, she said. That's what she said to me. I don't care. Oh, I do not care. I said, I don't care about your meeting. These dogs are attacking me on the beach. And you tell me they're not your dogs, but they're sitting here next to your feet whilst you're eating your breakfast. What kind of dirty person? What kind? She is a stray dog. She is the stray dog number three. What kind of dis... Oh, my God. I like my freedom. I like my freedom. I like my freedom. I like my freedom. I love 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 my freedom. And I'm not going to let a stray dog like her ruin my, 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 just ruin anything. My energy and my peace. I'm not going to let it happen. So, I'm going to, I actually spoke to the police officer, so the chief of the police yesterday about this situation. And he said, can we go? <laughs> Let's go. No space. <laughs> the camera was telling me. Oh, let's go. The sun is coming. Mm. So, um, yeah, and I spoke to the. Uh, went to, passed by the police station. I was coming. I stopped just to see what what they would say. And they said, "Come, let's we go." Because he said to me, "There are some people who are just troublemakers." But I know this already. So, um, but I, he asked me the name of the place, and I didn't know the name of the place. So, you know, I'm going to get it today, though. And he can come and sit right here in the passenger side and we will go. So at least, you know, I know where I am. I know that they, they probably will not do anything because uh, I don't expect that. If I was in a different country, if I was in a, somewhere else, you know, if I was in England, it'd be a different story, right? But here, because England's got a law for everything, here I don't really expect much. But putting the hurt that that stray dog's face out there and letting them see who she is and what she's doing and also you know the fact that it's, 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 the dogs are attacking other people on the beach local people on the beach they may not want to help me you know they may not want to help necessarily do anything from in my situation but they're not going to allow their people to be assaulted by a dog they're just not going to it's not, not going to happen um, so yeah I'm going to take you out of the sun. I don't want you to get burnt. Yeah. So, when we get to Padre Beach, um, I will show you exactly where I go to work out, show you the place. Let's go. Okay, that's where I've parked, right? 
That's where I've parked. Oh, I'm going. I used to park down there, but they're doing up. People have built up properties, let me know. And also, I'm in the shade when I park where I'm parking. So I used to park down there. Same difference. And I'm going here. And then I'll show you. So here I am at the beach, but I'm walking all the way, all the way, all the way. Let's go. I'm still walking, I'm still walking. Look at the shell that I found. So pretty. So I'm still walking. I'm still walking. I'm close by though. I've walked all the way from down there. So here is the place that I believe that stray dog woman is either owns or she's somehow connected to. It's all the way down the bottom. I want you to see the name. See? This is what it's called. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. I'm just going to stand here. So I'm here just by by the trees came from all the way down there she usually kind of comes out from around here and then walks up but let me not waste any more time on a useless human being like that let me work out see you later greetings 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 i'm on a smooth road i keep doing this because i stopped the car to <laughs> greetings so What's happening with that awful human being? So I don't know if that's her place. I probably don't. I don't think it is. I think she just probably goes there for breakfast. But I haven't seen her for two two mornings. This yesterday morning and this morning, I did not see her at all. Um, so I'm just getting on with my life. Oh, sorry. Getting on with my 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 training and just enjoying the beach and the peace and quiet in the morning. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. My, my, 
watch. Well, firstly, this is kind of coming from. I, I read a comment. Somebody left a comment on my recent vlog about you know. I think me leaving is the best thing for me to do because I sound like I'm unhappy. Something along those lines. And and that I, excuse me and that I dislike. Um, I dislike Tanzania. Absolutely nonsense. I don't dislike Tanzania. I've never actually ever said that I dislike Tanzania. I'm, I'm driving on a beautiful smooth road. This is beautiful here. On the on route to a Tempe. It's just so this is what I like. This is the Tanzania that I like. I like this Tanzania I shouldn't leave. I like this Tanzania where there's barely any traffic. Those heavy vehicles other than the one that's like you know there's one behind me but and this speeding, this is a taxi that's going by me. It's just beautiful. It's peaceful. It's just beautiful. I don't like, I don't dislike uh, Tanzania. I don't know why anyone would get that. Well, no, I do because it's YouTube and people just, they selective hearing <laughs> on YouTube. Definitely selective hearing. But absolutely, I do like Tanzania. Tanzania, uh, Tanzania specifically. Uh, Zanzibar and areas like this, you know, um, which you can find mainland, mainland, uh, just lush, just beautiful, just peaceful, untouched, untouched. I love that. So, no, I did reply to the person say absolutely not. Like, but then I also I remember that this YouTube. Um, I, I do love this beauty, the beauty of Tanzania. And that kind of just led me to also just, you know, there's been, there's a few videos or vlogs that I've watched, skimmed through and watched, of um, primarily black women, who just so happen to be from America, that are, that live on the continent and absolutely have complete disdain. This road just goes on forever. It's just so beautiful. It's just, just that. Animals are there. It's just land. It's just forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It's wonderful. And this, these uh, women are talking about the, you know, the disdain that they have. They're in. They're not here. They're not here in Tanzania. They're like you know Ghana, primarily Ghana. I think it's a Ghana thing. Um, and what I don't understand is why women. And I'm going to say women. I'm calling out these black women. I'm calling them out. No, I'm not calling them out because I don't want that drama. I don't want the drama. But I'm, I'm mentioning them because I'm because it seems to be that women, a lot of women feel that they can just get up and come to this continent with 50 quid in their pocket. Like, why would you think that that was okay? That's not okay. It's not sensible. And so, you know, there are people who are talked about, you know, they absolutely hate living in Ghana, they hate, I mean, they will go as far as saying Africa, they hate living in Africa, which is nonsensical, right, because it's the continent, it's Africa, you live in a, you know, you live in a small place that's, you know, Ghana's not small, but you get what I mean, um, and yet, and, and you haven't really, you haven't really kind of got far and wide within the country that you're in, so, they have this disdain and they're talking about leaving, leaving, leaving. I hate it here. I can't wait to go. But I can't because I don't have any money. How is that a thing? How does that... You know, when I was in China, I lived there for six years. I actually really liked the city that I was living in. Really liked the city that I was living in. I was supposed to vlog, start vlogging when I was in China six years and I just I don't know I think it was a nerves thing like nerves like silly um but let me die let me not digress so I was living in China and the last couple of years in China was a pandemic and if you know anything about China <clears throat> they're irrational with everything <laughs> everything is just irrational and so there was only a few windows of opportunity to kind of get out because
because I know for my province, Zhejiang province, and for Shanghai, which is Pudong, I believe it's Pudong, it's the province there, yeah, because I've lived there. Um, so it's Pudong, yeah. They uh, closed all forms of transport, or stopped all forms of transport leaving that province um, and coming into the province. And so what I found, that's a massive tree bark, what, I, what happened was, when there was this little window of opportunity, I booked my ticket to with Etihad. Booked it with Etihad. It was business class. I flew, whilst I was living in China, I, I flew with Etihad every year, back and forth from England. Um, once, just once a year. And I sat business class. Yes, I did. Because that east to west, west to east, is a beast of a flight, if you've ever done it. Um, so I booked my seat with um, Etihad. It was it was less than two grand, much less than two grand. I don't think it was even. I, can't, I'm, I don't recall it even being a thousand, one, fifteen hundred. I, I don't even think it was that. Um, so I booked my seat. Three days later, I received an email, and I just saw the top of the email. I literally, I saw the top of the email, and I think we, you know, I kind of knew there was a chance that that uh, is that the police that um, no that the flight could be cancelled and yeah so it said cancel flight <laughs> and I didn't look to read anything else I was like okay where else can I fly from that's you know driving distance that I can get to and so I looked at Hangzhou never flown from Hangzhou before and um, booked with Qatar went on their website they had two seats left both of those seats were business class seats two I didn't hesitate I didn't hesitate I didn't hesitate I didn't hesitate I booked my seat leaving that one business class seat left and that ticket cost me just under four thousand
they would book their flights. And this is like a few weeks before, probably even a month before, um, they had booked their flight, husband, wife, and their children. And the flight had been cancelled, but the airline hadn't given them back their money. I mean, Etty had get, gave me back my money. I think it was a few days later they gave me back my money. Didn't even register in my mind, but they didn't give me back my money. And these people were at the airport in Shanghai, in Shanghai, um, and they couldn't they couldn't buy another ticket because the airline that had cancelled hadn't given them back their money yet. And so they were in a bind in the airport. And so I'm saying, you know, have the emergency money. If there's more than just you, and there's you and your children and your husband, have a brand for everybody. Have the money. Have four grand. Have four grand. Go for the most expensive seat with a, with a couple of airlines, and that's what you should keep uh, in your bank account. So if you ever need to get out for any reason, you've got that money. I don't understand why people still stay somewhere that they're not happy. You know, I'm I'm leaving because of my that I'm not happy. I've, firstly, I've finished my contract, and uh, secondly, I'm not. Um, It is what it is. I'm going. I'm not making. My company um, gave me my purchased my ticket. Uh, gave me my ticket the other day, a few weeks back now, because um, that's part of my my package. So I'm just saying, you know, instead of complaining, right? Instead of complaining, because what is the complaining going to do? The complaining isn't going to change anything. Complaining is not going to change. Anything. You're unhappy. Right, you're unhappy. People are allowed to be unhappy. People have their own experiences. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It is what it is. But this disdain and this hatred is its really unnecessary. It's really unnecessary because for, for some of these women, as I think I said already, they've just in their little, their little area. And if they have been anywhere else, it's, it's, it's not really far and wide. It's not, you don't really see the full... Uh, beauty of that country. Um, so I just wanted to say that. I wanted to say that, listen, don't come over here. There are people, I know that there's, I watched a vlog about um, a Jamaican couple. They seem like really nice people, and I believe they're in the Gambia. And um, they came over, if I'm not mistaken, with 500. I don't know if it was USD or Jamaican dollars, but they came up with $500 and a few years back now, and they own, now they own their own business there, um, but they were already, I believe, I believe that they were already people who were entrepreneurs and they had that entrepreneurial spirit, that entrepreneurial kind of uh, get up and go, like, right, we've only got $500. We need to eat tomorrow. We need to like live somewhere. Um, so they all they were already an entrepreneurs, you know. So it wasn't going to be hard for them to create something for them that was going to be beneficial and that would uh, yield the kind of um, funds that they need in order to uh, live there comfortably. And they're doing. I mean, I, I don't watch them. 
country like this. Third tier, third, I don't like the whole third world thing, but you know, third tier, let's say third tier, it's better. And, you know, and there is, the infrastructure is not set up for you in a way where you can just come and work. So that allows for me to just bank my money. I don't have to. I don't have to spend any money, you know, other than you know if I go grocery shopping and when I travel, I don't have to spend any money. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm going straight. Oh, there's a petrol station. Got to know about the petrol station. <laughs> I like this it's like a village, a massive, massive village. It's very nice. Um, so. To say that, just just be sensible. Just be sensible. Coming here and running down the whole entire country because of your experience in the area that you're in, and your experience with you know a handful of people in comparison to all the people in the country is nonsensical. It's nonsensical. You know, I really I love uh, seeing this side of Tanzania because it's absolutely beautiful. It's like Jamaica. It's beautiful. Um, but there are some things that just didn't work for me and so I'm moving on. It's that simple. It's really that simple. Anyway, I'm going to try and get to Matemwe and my phone is going to shut down because the heat. I'll see you there. So, I've got to, I've arrived at Matemwe. You got, well, the way I went, I just went through the village. Oh, my God. It's just, there's a lot of big walls that stop you from, because, you know, people have built hotels and what have you. But let's see. Let's see. Look at that, that's cute with all the boats. I love that with all these boats. I've never been here, it's the first time I've been here. Look at that, oh, look at the island over there. Look at that. 
That's so cute. Is that Pemba Island? I feel like it is. I feel like it is. The water is coming back in. It's cool. That is cute with all these boats. <laughs> That is that island, that's that private island, I'm sure. I'm gonna have to investigate. And you can hear the water. You can hear the water. It is a long drive, let me tell you. <laughs> There's not many hotels on the front, which is nice. You know, it's just. beautiful palm trees. You hear the water? You probably can't. The reef. It's interesting when you go to the different parts of the island although it's the same water well actually when you go to Nungui so you go a bit further up north the water is is it crystal blue it's just whereas when you're in Jambiani Pag uh, Jambiani the water is as it is it has a moment but has its moments when it's like that but they have what is it seaweed sea moss there so of course it's probably going to affect the color but um it's just beautiful i love that there's no hotels like not lots of hotels facing front here's a big one that is clearly being built but the rest is there isn't any which is nice so beautiful yeah I'm sure it's that island I'm sure